Hi friends, today now we are going to talk about a very important topic where you have a particular transaction code but you don't know anything about what is the table name and all those things. So how can you know what are the different tables behind a particular transaction code. So what I can do is what I'm going to do is I'll show about sales order. So suppose you new you are new to sales order you don't know any anything about the tables for sales order so what first thing we will do is we go to st05 and here we will put activate trace with filter and we can put the client as whatever is the client i think the client is let me see you can do a thing in the stop and here we can say you see the first you have to see the client so let me see the client the client here you can get is 100 okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to click here i put 100 okay and here i'll just put my the id which i'm logged in and I click this okay now you see this has been triggered is for this now we are going to create a new session and we are going to go to VA03. Okay. So it's creating a new session VA03. And here we can do a search. And we'll just search from here and we'll just pick one. And I just press enter. Okay. And then the sales order screen will open up. And so suppose this. This is the transaction. I knew I only know the transaction code, but I don't know the table and all those things. So normal way is to know what is the table is you go here and you click F1 and know the table. That's a long way. But you sometimes if you're lucky, so if I click on F1 here, and if I click on this, most of the time, so here it shows the table name, but lots of times it doesn't show you the table name, it's a structure. Okay. But there are lots of other things I have to search for this particular transaction. Code. So the easiest way you can do is I go to again, like close this now. Okay. And I will get the standard order. Okay. And now I'll go to the previous transaction. I will click deactivate trace and I'll click on display trace. And I think here I will have to change this time because this system has some problem. You may not have to do it click on execute now I click on execute and I took the sales order number that's very important okay I'll show you what why it's very important so the moment this opens up you can see all these tables that are getting called now you might say oh there's so many tables getting called well we are only interested for the ones that has 130 so I will say display number of hits and I'll click on it. It's one. So VBAC is the first one. Okay, that's the sales order header. Then there is this transaction, this this table, and we are probably interested about the number of records also. If it's more than more, if it's one or more more than zero, I am interested. Then there is VBAKD, which is very important. Also, that's another table that gets called. Then we have VVPA. That's another table. So for billing then we have another table vbap that's the sales order line and this is only related with sales order with the key field of 130 there can be other fields like if you have a material master like they will call mara and all those things so here that's another table we are checking vbac again gets called okay so we'll cover all of this so the next time next one it's getting called vbap again that's the place then vbfa that's another table uh though it doesn't have entry then we have vbp so that's scheduling line then you have vb vbsn so all these are getting called vbuv that's probably the status related stuff okay then you have nst that's a message control very important though it doesn't have any message but it's important and we are now in the 14th which is vb ep dg we don't really know but you know it helps this is similar and then you have something related with this which i really don't know but all the vbs are the important stuffs and i think 
we have 17 i think then it's coming it's giving the message from the from the from this part not from this so we are not interested but this one we are interested so there was like 16 hits and out of which we came to know a lot of tables that we have to go through one by one and find it out in the transaction code that would have taken hours if not day it would have taken for sure hours which we would have got it in a matter of it. this is very very useful and you should be using whether you are functional or technical or whatever person you are you should be using this process okay to know the table behind our transaction code so that's that's it this covers everything how to find a table behind our transaction